It's not a matter of opinion of government or opinion of anyone. <clears throat> it is what has happened. But the speaker has spoken. And when you go, I always refer to um, the um, parliamentary um, website. I'm having a bit of a, a, a challenge. challenge with it. But it stipulates the role of the speaker in parliament's, uh, parliamentary service mm. of Ghana. And he's the head of the service and the chair of the parliamentary service board. Mm. And he has not hidden from us the fact that he's number three in this country. Number so if two. number three, number three, he said number three, Nanaya. If number three has spoken, he's the leader of parliament. But all I can say is, in all that he's done in the past few weeks, in all the decisions he's taken in the, in the past few weeks, he's made reference to precedents. But what I pray, and I say this with a lot of pain, what I pray that what Speaker Bagbin has done is not set or referred to in our future dealings as we move on as a democratic country. In, meaning what? He doesn't set a precedent I, that could I haunt us. I pray that we don't have the case where once, some time to come, it will be said that once upon a time, we had a speaker who was a lawyer who had been part of the first to the seventh parliament of this republic, served as majority leader, served as minority leader, served in ECOWAS parliament and the other regional parliaments, being chair of committees, was health minister, was works and housing minister, at a point was a member of the three wise men under the former president, Jomahamed's government, that such a person who became speaker, he even served as second deputy speaker, who became a speaker, set aside or ignored the ruling of a Supreme Court, which in his context is number four. How did the, the speaker ignore the ruling of, of the Supreme Court? Was there a ruling by Supreme Court or not. What did he do? He was in there the was House. There was a ruling. There was a convening of Parliament. Court. So Supreme Court didn't go. Is and it your meddle. opinion that he ignored Supreme the ruling Court of the Supreme Court? Supreme didn't go and meddle in parliamentary affairs. A case was taken to Supreme Court, a court of competent jurisdiction, the third arm of government. <clears throat> I just, As right, how did you come to that conclusion that the Speaker runs. of Ghana's so Parliament ignored pray, the ruling of the Supreme what Court? What I pray is that what Speaker has said now is never referred to as a precedence in this country.